Hello, it's Professor Amalgam here with another 14 video. I hadn't made a 14 video in who knows how long, but I wanted to talk about something that's kind of important to me right now. Uh, this has to do with Dawn Trail. Now, I want to preface this video by saying a couple things. One, this video is not being applied to people who have disabilities. If you're colorblind, if you're missing fingers, I don't care. This game can do better with accessibility. First up, better accessibility. Some of those colorblind options are not great. I can understand how some things can get difficult because you can't see. That's different. Second off, I have only been playing since 5.2. I didn't get to do Crystal Towers. I didn't get to do all the Alexander stuff when it first came out, when it was real hard content. I did not get to do that. Thirdly, I have not made it all the way through Dawn Trail. I have just finished level 95 dungeon at the time this video is going to be uploaded. I will be doing the raids later, so this video might get remade once I do the raids. But as of right now, that's all we got. I've only up to that point. My thing is with this game, I keep seeing this online, and I've seen this a couple times in Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, the actual threads, the discussion posts, whatever. Is Dawn Trail too hard? And as someone who's been playing this game for about four and a half, no, I think five years now, and has a well over 600 hours in there, no, Dawn Trail is not hard. Is it harder? Yes. Is it hard? No. As far as other games go, it's not. And this is coming from somebody who plays Souls games, so I know what hard is like. But, I keep seeing discussions, and there's a couple different discussions going around. One of them is that the fights are too complicated. And some of these fights do get complicated. Now, this person, I will not say their name, I will not show the post. I'm going to paraphrase it. Because I don't want to see harassment go after anybody. What we've got with this is that we have somebody, and a lot of people have seen me doing this, complaining that some of the fights get too complicated. That the hardcore players already have the hard fights with extreme savages and you know ultimates, those kind of stuff. This person's saying they don't want the fights this hard. And as someone who doesn't really do a lot of the savage content and a lot of the uh, extremes, I've done for extremes for my background. I've done all but one of the in Walker, no, I'm sorry, all uh, Shadowbringer fights. The savages, no, I'm sorry, the extremes. I've only done, I've done all but one. I need to do the Innocence fight, I still need to do that. I haven't done any of the in Walker ones. I have done some of the raids, though. I've done some of the savage raids. And honestly, I could see why they're difficult. Those, those savages can get rough. And I can only play once a week. And given that I only played once a week, I'm shocked that I actually managed to get far enough into the game, or far enough into those fights and actually beat some of them. Because I'm not that good at the game. I'm really not. But to be honest, seeing people say that these dungeons and these trials are too hard kind of disheartens me. And not in a way of like, oh, you're ragging on one of my favorite games. Not that kind of disheartening. I mean disheartened as in, y'all suck. Like, get better. You are level 90 plus in this game. If you can't handle somebody aiming a sword to the right and understanding not to stand over there, that's on you. That is not a game dev problem. That is not a me problem. That is a you are bad at this game problem. And that's okay. It's okay to not be good at certain games. But don't try to bring everybody else down because of it. Dawn Trail is not that much harder. It is harder. But so is Lakeland. The Lakeland's uh, dungeon and Shadowbringers is harder. Tower of Zot was harder, and it's mostly just because they hit harder, not the mechanics. But the actual fights get harder. Like I tried tanking in Lakeland before I really knew how to tank well. Who that first wall to wall pool will mess you up. But this is talking about the dodge. The pools aren't really any di more difficult. The pools are about the same. I don't really see any difference with that. I, even with some of the tank stuff that's been happening, I played Dark. Um, so they. I don't know, it's not really that, that bad to me. It really wasn't. But the dungeon fights, the actual boss fights, are harder. They are. I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with everybody. The mechanics are more difficult. I've died. In the trust fights, I've died. I use trust the first time I go through them just because I want to see what the, ki the characters have to say about it. I like that for the story. I'm a story. Game. But you know, after one or two deaths, I made it through just fine. And you know what? That happens. And 
that's part of being in a game. Like, there are tons of games out there that they don't have deaths. Like, Animal Crossing, you don't die in, you just, just play the game, and it's fine. But if you're going to sit here and complain that this game is too difficult, then kind of just look at it. Like, look at yourself, look at how you've been playing. Have you been asleep at the wheel for the past 90 levels? Because, you know, kind of for Shadowbringers and Inwalker, aside from, like, the trial fights, I kind of was. The dungeon fights are really easy for those two expansions. Um, Stormblood's not really that much harder. I do... There's one Stormblood that's a little bit more difficult. That's mostly just because there's a pool. There's a there's a pool, there's a wall-to-wall -wall pool that I can't do. And I think it might be the healer. I'm not sure why. I just don't do it very well. Uh, some of the fights in... Uh, Level 60 stuff, the, the Heaven's Ward stuff, the in-game in Heaven's Ward dungeons. I did one, and you can actually see it behind me, it's that one. Uh, I think the mechanics at the end of the fight are quite interesting. And you'll see that later in the, this video, I quite like them. But I wasn't around to play them when they were out, so I don't know how people thought about them. I can't say that I would. This is mostly just me rambling anyway. But I have some thoughts on some things about that. It's, it's less of... You don't know how to play the game and you want this game to be made for everybody and this is a term that i love is a game made for everybody is a game made for no one a game made for everybody i'll say it again is a game made for nobody you need to have a target audience when you make a game you make a game tv show music any sort of media has a target audience i'm not the target audience for my little pony you know, I might honestly be. I don't know. But I'm not. I'm the target audience for Shonen Action. I'm the target audience for Fairy Tale, for Bleach, for Naruto. I'm the target audience for that. I mean, technically I was back when they came out, and but I still love those shows anyway. But, you know, the target audience for Shonen Action is, you know, ages 12 to 17. Shoujo is 12 to 17 girls. Seinen is around my age group. Stuff like Chainsaw Man. My tar target audience is around my age, most likely. Uh, things like there's that one anime and manga about the uh, the office workers who just are dating. That's for my age group. And I love that show. But they didn't make that for everybody. They didn't make Naruto for a bunch of five year old girls. They made Naruto, and you know Kishimoto made Naruto for thirteen year old boys. That's his target audience. And it'd be a shame if he changed it because little girls. But I want more romance in this. Like. No, that's not the kind of thing he wanted to write or he wanted to show to the world. And same goes for 14. This is a game that is a... It, this is a story-driven, combat-driven MMO. If you can't handle the combat in this game, this might not be the game for you. Or get good. I'll say it again. Get better. Learn to not sleep at the wheel. You can't let Jesus take the wheel on this one. You gotta try in Dawn Tramp. And I'm sorry to say that, but you gotta try. You're 90 plus levels in try learn your job go look up a guy i don't i don't know Just look at somebody's i i'm literally was right before watching this video i'm sorry making this video i was watching zentrea play through the game she's currently at this point when i was at the time of recording this making a or doing a fight she was doing a fight in uh asphodelis in one of the in dawn trail raids you know what she did she went looked at another streamer or another video something and just copied that person's reaper hotbar i looked at that and went good for you girl you knew what to do you said i don't know what i'm doing on this job let me go get help and i'll admit 14 has a problem with that 14 does not do a good job of teaching you things it doesn't Dontrail will teach you you want to learn today Dawn Trail's whole expansion title, it should not be Dawn Trail. It should be, you go and learn today. Because you're going to learn how to play your job. You're going to learn how to play it correctly. Or at least semi-correctly. You can't just hit 1, 2, 3 the entire time. You can make the entire game and not, and just, you know, you hit 1, 2, 3 over and over again. Whatever buttons you use on the, on the controller. I don't play controller. Dawn Trail's not going to let you do that. And I'm glad. Because, you know, there are a lot more grievances in the game than, um, not playing your job 100% correct. That's okay if you mess up sometimes. I've seen people level 80 still on Arcanist. And that's sad. This game needs to do a better job of that. And I will say that every time. That's neither here nor there. What I really want to say is that if you don't want to play the combat because you think it's too hard, either look at yourself 
Look at the game. Is this the game you want to keep playing? And either continue and get better or die. I stopped playing League of Legends for that very reason. I said, I don't like this. I'm not getting better at this. I'm not enjoying this. I'm done. Do I get FOMO because I have friends that play? Sure. I do. But I don't. I'm just got to deal with it. And you got to deal with that. Here's another thing I saw too. Uh, this one's not as, as prevalent, but I did see this. I saw people complaining that if you want to play Gather or Crafter, you have to play the story anyway. You're playing a game that's centered around combat. And that's completely fine if you want to play Gather or Crafter. If you want to if you want to be Johnny Appleseed and going around giving people food and stuff. Or if you want to do something like a second life. A lot of people play this game as a second life, and that's fine. But my problem is you guys trying to tell people to play this game differently. Play it the way I want to play. Like, no, 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 no. I'm playing the game the way the developers intended you to play this game. You're the ones who decided, I want to play it my way. For everybody else, but you better conform to my idea of what this game is. And that's not fun. Because that's going to make the game worse for everybody. If you want to play Just Gather Crafter and you don't want to do any kind of combat ever this is not the game for you you need to go play something like eve online eve online has you can just do nothing but you know economics that's it's economics the mmo and that's okay that's the game i want to play but that's obviously the game you want you want to play animal crossing go do that but stop trying to change the game to fit that particular thing the combat classes and the comp the people who only do combat I don't see them telling people to go in, not do gathering crafting, to only do combat. That's not, no, because we want you to enjoy the entire game. And there are parts of the game that I don't even touch. I don't really touch gathering crafting. That's fine. And if you don't want to, if you don't really want to touch the, get the combat after level 100 or after you max out, I'm not going to stop you. You want to manipulate the markets all you want, by all means, that's, that's your prerogative. But don't try to change it to be a market manipulation game. That's not what this is. That's not what the developers want it to be. That's not what Yoshi P wants it to be. Although he might be adding dating sim later, and I'm okay with that. That's a beside the point. It's discussions like these that I hate having. I hate saying this. Because of that. Because it makes me come off like a jerk. And I don't want to I don't want to come off like that. My I know my comment section on the YouTube is gonna be flame, but build those ad algorithms for me. Who knows? I might explode because of this. I don't know. It's a, it might be a bad tip to say, get good. And I'm not saying you have to do savage fights. I I don't really do savage all that much. I want to try this time. I may, I'm going to do the extremes this time. Because I really want the gear for Viper. But I'm not going to be sitting here telling you you have to do the high-end content. Because I, I don't expect you to. What I do expect you to do is to engage with the game. If you're going to play the game, engage with 80% of the game. At least engage with a big portion of the game. Engage with it. Otherwise, you're not playing the game. Now, if you're a story skipper, that's a different discussion entirely. I know people who are just trying to beat the story and play the game with the friends, and that's fine. You can always go back and watch it later. It's okay. That's not the problem. The problem here is people who are complaining about things that I can do. If they're not playing the game correctly. I've seen people complain, oh, my job isn't doing enough damage. I'm like, well, why? I, I don't know. I'm supposed to play a summoner, but I'm not summoning anything. What level are you? I'm 55. Uh, you should have your summons. No, all I've got is this one blue carbuncle. You didn't go get your jobs done. Well, I don't want to do that. But you're not getting your summons until you do your jobs done. Well, I don't want to do that. Well, that's, that's not my problem. Like, you got you got to think critically sometimes. You just got to think critically sometimes. Oh. And that's really all I have to say. Is Dawn Trail hard? Yes. Is it harder? Yes. Is it so hard that you, the game's just unplayable? No. It's a harder game. It's not a hard game. Even though I just said it was hard. It's not hard. It's just harder. And that's okay. Anyway. Bye, everybody. I kind of just rambled the entire time. I will just say bye now. Goodbye.